Well, good evening. I'm here once again with another whiskey right here in front of me. It's got some dust on it because I've had it for a while. Today is the 6th of November. And I have had this since the 3rd of July. So August, September, October, November. Four months. I'm catching up. I really am catching up. Not so long ago it was a year. And then six months and now four months. Okay, well, let's see what this is. It says on it, Isla Mist, 17 years old. As far as I can tell, it's a blended whiskey. How does this open? Now, let's see. Okay, this comes off of there. And this lifts out of there. And you still got this package here. I'm going to pour a dram first before I read what's on there. And it has the sideways V-shaped thing that you grab with your fingernail. And that comes off like this. Ooh, that's a loose cork. Can't make that pop to save my life. It's a composite cork too, but it's got no, got no pop. I'm going to have to replace that with a thicker one maybe. I don't like it. And your cork doesn't pop. Okay. Well, what does it say on here? Age 17 years, blended Scotch whiskey. Island Mist is a premium blend of fine aged whiskies. The most distinctive of these being Lafroig Single Isla Malt. Isla Mist retains the smoke flavor of Lafroig whilst offering a delightful softness most appealing to contemporary taste. Uh oh. So, in other words, this is dumbed down. Scotch blended whiskey. And what is this up here? St. Envoy's something something. It's a little ship design of some kind. You can see that. Okay, well that didn't say much. What does it say on here? I only missed blended Scotch whiskey, 17 years old, 40% ABV, distilled, bl bl blended and bottled in, in Scotland, Macduff International. Oh, okay. What's it say on the back here? Oh, uh, the same thing it said, same thing as it said on the box. Okay, so it's a blend at 40% alcohol by volume. What did it set me back? Okay. $62.99. Oh, since I bought something else, I'll have to do the calculator again. I know, I know. I'm not very proficient with this thing. So six dollars and thirty cents for the uh, out liquor tax um, divided by two is a GST goods and services tax three dollars and fifteen cents plus six point three that's the liquor tax plus. 10 cents bottle deposit plus 62.99 grand total of 72.54 out the door says so right there okay 72.54 out the door
It smells a bit froggy. It reminds me of uh, Shelter Point aged in Lefroig casks. But this is Lefroig blended with um, some uh, some grain whiskey, probably. And it's all 17 years old or more. And 40%. I got uh, coffee, I get a bit of a sourness, on the nose I'm also getting some peat, yes I'm getting peat, along with that peat there is some citrus. This is, citrus is mostly lemon, lemon and lime, lemon and lime, bit of espresso, bit of chocolate also. What kind of chocolate? I'm not sure. Along with the lemon lime, there's a bit of a creosote note. And the creosote note is um, it's not in your face, it's more subtle, it's softer. Softer than your typical Lafroig. So this is the Isla Mist. Too bad about that. That cork doesn't pop now. Oh, it just pulls right out. You don't even have to twist it, it's just straight out. Yeah, I'll have to find a tighter cork. A real one, perhaps. Am I getting something else? Maybe a little bit of barbecue sauce. You know, the kind that you would um, brush onto a steak. Steak sauce. Barbecue sauce. Well, we were waiting for the palate, right? Okay. The mouthfeel is slippery and alkaline. Slippery and alkaline. Um, I am getting some smoke, yes. Um, quite a bit of citrus. And smoke and I'm also getting some of that graininess it's interesting blend so far let's try it again okay now that I've had a mouthful and had a sip I'm getting some peat smoke, again on the nose, some citrus, and a bit of espresso. Barbecue sauce. 
Ah, there's the Band-Aid. There's a bit of Band-Aid in there, along with uh, hints of creosote. Second sip, citrus, a little bit maritime, a little bit salty. Yeah, quite a bit maritime. Espresso on the nose again. I'm going to try keeping it in my mouth for 17 seconds. Okay. My tongue is tingling. Tinging with citrus. A little bit of creosote, citrus. And a short dry Finish with hint of vanilla. I don't know if this was worth my 74 bucks. I guess it's a place to start a flight of peated whiskey. I have a problem with peated whiskey at 40% alcohol by volume because usually you want to have your peated whiskey at the end of the night. So usually a high alcohol content peated whiskey would be the way to cap off a flight. But this, having the peat on one side, meaning that it would be towards the end of the night, and being at 40%, suggesting that it would be a starter for a, for a flight, um means that it might end up on my bar for quite a long time because I would never know whether to have this first at the beginning or last at the end. I'm thinking what to drink before it. Probably something like a Glenlivet 12. Glenfiddich 12, Federkern 12, and then switching over to something like this, which is peated. And then after that, going for something like a Lagavulin 12 bottled at 58% alcohol by volume. You know, I think it's getting better as it spends more time in the glass. I'm getting once again those uh, some of the the citrus notes are fading and there's a lot of vanilla coming in now which is interesting that this is changing as it's going along. It is morphing. It is being exposed to the air. I'm getting the smoke, but now the, the, the citrus is fading. 
is still some of that smokiness and there's a sweetness along with the smokiness. Could that be a corn sweetness from the grain alcohol portion? From the, um, the grain whiskey that it's blended with? How much of this is malt anyway? How much is grain? It doesn't say. But the citrus is fading. The smoke is still there. There's a little bit of coffee note, but a lot of vanilla. Now, now the finish is more vanilla. And it's not overpowering. It's just nice and light. So I can see what the blenders were trying to do here. They were trying to give you the uh, experience of smoke without overpowering you. And you know what? As I nose and taste this and keep going with it, it's growing on me, even though the cork is loose. It's growing on me. I spend a bit of time with this. Enjoy the smell. I don't expect there to be very long legs. <sighs> Sheeting action. Down it goes. Yeah, straight down. Yeah, this is a, quite a good blend. Maybe something to be sipping on a mildly cold, mildly windy night. Yeah, it keeps changing with the citrus and coffee and a little bit of chocolate. And an alkaline mouthfeel with that barbecue, smoky, and vanilla finish. You know, this is not at all bad. I kind of like it. Slanchava. Food Queen. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>